I smell deliciousness inside of here. So what the heck is in the box? This is from Miami Fruit and I was so lucky to receive this gift box from a friend and student. And I wanna share with you, if you've maybe been looking for a little more variety in your fruit selection, or maybe you haven't been able to travel to those exotic destinations, well, check this out. I am so excited to myself. Box smells delicious. And this company, Miami Fruit, on their website, you'll see they have over 60 varieties of fruit. So if you think you're a fruit fanatic, check this out because you're bound to find something new and unique and exotic that you haven't tried before. Let's dive in and see what's in the box. Okay, we're ready to dive into the box a bit and let's check out what's inside. So this is a yellow dragon fruit. I actually already ate one of these. It was outstanding, uh, very citrus-like, a very cool texture to it. Highly recommend. But let's talk about some of the more unique ones. I saw this apple and I figured it's gotta be more than just an apple. And indeed, I think it's going to be the hidden rose apple, which is a very unique color inside. So we'll look forward to trying this one soon. All these things I have not necessarily tasted ever in my life. Okay, another one. This one is a question mark, but the Tamarillo. In the picture, they had sliced it laterally and there were some cool seeds inside. So that's my guess. I'm not sure. Again, you're trying to decipher this from a, a guide of 60 plus varieties of fruit. We also have, I was advised this one, it's being allowed to ripen fully. And this looks like the black sapote. So I'm excited to dive into that one. It's going to be a softer texture inside. I'm just in awe of all these varieties. Okay, what else do we have? Question mark on this one. Sapodilla, I really don't know, but it looks like a, a rougher texture, a browner hue. We will have to investigate further. And something I have seen but haven't tried in ages, golden berries. There's tons more in here, but these were some that were especially unsure for my identification skills. We also have prickly pear, a cactus fruit, the fruit of a cactus. We have some banana. And you know what? This is another important point about a lot of the commercially produced food that we get. It's grown to look beautiful, but it doesn't necessarily have the taste and nutrition of things that are grown wild or in a more organic setting. This one is a little bit of a mystery, but we're gonna decipher it soon. Ooh, yes. Two kinds of lime here. So this dark little creature is a caviar lime, it's my best guess, and a key lime. All I can say is there's so much in here. There is so much. The layers upon layers I keep diving into. All right, this one, cacao, the starting point of chocolate. And I have tasted this in the wild in Ecuador, and I am excited for the texture inside. When I give it a little shake, there's a tiny bit of movement as and a, quite a bit of heaviness to the interior contents, which I know are white and very uh, soft textured. There's more, there's more. Oh my gosh, this pineapple is so tiny and super cute. Can't wait to try that. A large avocado, beautiful, beautiful. And again, ones that I haven't quite deciphered yet. One, two. And I really should know what this is, but I'm just, it's, it's escaping me right now. So we're gonna try to identify these and look forward to some tasting of all these amazing fruits. High praise already after trying just a couple of the items like passion fruit and the yellow dragon fruit for Miami fruit. Let's check it out. 